How's everyone doing today? This is Zach Allen. We're going to share a great tip with you today from some of my favorite instruction that's out there. Okay. Um, it's something that I use all the time with my students. I didn't invent it. I didn't think it up. Okay. But I got to give props to the man that did. This is Pete Cowan. Okay. And it's a very famous drill and sensation called the spiral staircase drill. Okay. And I, so I see so many people struggling with this concept and how it relates to how you pivot and move your body. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give a little twist on his drill, and I think I can add some things to it. But I think just in general, it's a fantastic concept, and I know I share it with a lot of students, so I know it will help you out also. But before we, we, we jump into it, feel free to like and subscribe if you're enjoying some of my videos or if I've helped you in the past. But also, I have an email list down below that you can sign up for that has content that's not available on YouTube. It just goes directly to your email, and it'll surely help your game. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I've got some of this tape on, right? You notice there I've got tape on my hips, tape on my knees, tape on my shoulders. And the thing that you're going to see, right, very much like this spiral staircase is, is the concept that energy is climbing, okay? So as we go to rotate and turn back, it's not just a turn to where we're just turning and turning. Energy is actually climbing upwards, but it's also loading in my body from the ground, okay? So... As I go to demonstrate here, right, you notice when I start, everything is pretty level. And as soon as I start to move into my takeaway some, you see how my lead side gets lower than my trail side, okay? So it's the most with my shoulders, okay? It's the second most with my pelvis, but it's the third most with my hips. So that's that sense of things climbing as I get to the top. So you notice how the tape is at different levels as I get back to the top of my backswing. So there's many of you out there, probably most specifically, that person that always goes inside, okay? So that club head always goes inside. Maybe it comes down over the top, but you cannot get it rid of that inside takeaway. I know people that will actually think they fixed it. Their body's totally wrong. Everything's turning level or horizontal to the ground. There's no climbing up the staircase. And just because the club looks better, they think they're better. The problem with this though, and this is why I use this analogy so much, the body's not properly loaded. In order for us to really load our pivot, because remember, we are trying to hit a ball that's down on the ground. So when I go to move back, I need to position my body in a way that's going to allow me to hit that ball that's on the ground. That gives me this, this energy to where I'm loaded and rotated, and I can bring that down into the ball and then drive through the golf ball. So there's many of you out there that are always thinking about how I hit the ball, right? The quality of my strike. Let me go ahead and get the club on the ball. What ends up happening, you're neglecting your pivot and your body motion, your, your body angles are what are actually moving the club. Okay, so you know, you hit the ball fat, we put the ball back in our stance, we hit it on the toe, we start to move a little closer. We're always making these compensations, but we're never really learning how to get our body moving like Mr. Cowan's describing, okay? And he's a great instructor. Those of you who don't know, he teaches Rory McIlroy, Lee Westwood, Henrik Stenson, uh, Louis Oosthuizen. I mean, literally some of the best ball strikers in golf, okay? So the drill that I have for you, I'm gonna do it with these exercise bands, okay? You can also do it with the string and just a table leg or a stool, anything at home, and it's going to give you the sensation of this spiral staircase so we can begin to move our body better, load, load through the ground better, but also just compress the ball more. Okay, so the first thing I do when I start, it even begins with my setup, right? As soon as I go to start and I grab these bands, I feel like my feet are pushing into the ground. So my body, it, it's, it's not loaded here, right? I'm just standing here. But as soon as I get going, I feel a little bit of resistance here to start. So I'm actually pushing my weight through the ground, through my knees, down into the floor. Okay, so that's something that's really important as we get started. That's an athletic setup, right? So I feel that sensation. Now, the, the thing with this, right, it's obviously kind of bolted to the ground. Here's my backswing motion. So you literally see how I'm going to rotate and turn, but there's also this climbing of my, my trail side. And this gives me the sensation of how I do it. So I feel my right side climbing up and behind me. This gives me a lot of extension. It opens up my right, my right scapula, my right chest, chest muscles. It really gives me good extension to the top so I can really drive down and start to use the ground more powerfully. Okay, so you've felt some of this spiral staircase on the backswing. 
you feel how you're using the ground to drive your body back and then we transition and we start to drive up the other way okay but you'll notice here right the staircase goes up to the top right around and up I'm loaded pressures down and forward back up and around okay that's where we get power out of the golf swing so those of you that are always focusing on okay let's turn back and then let's turn through right we know that the club doesn't just turn when I come down because my hands come way out nor do I just turn when I go back because when I make this kind of flat level turn it's easy but nothing's actually loaded okay so you get a couple reps in feeling that sensation right feeling some of that spiral staircase and then you take it out onto the golf course and you feel something different right I feel my right side starting to pull up and back just like that band I feel my chest open up to the top and it really feels like I could kill the ball right and I also feel very loaded through the ground and all through these muscles it's very different than people just turning back and turning through okay so I really don't like that turn that's part of why I'm doing this think of a spiral staircase eliminate that word turn and then we start to hit some with that same sensation and that felt really good I could feel that same sensation of me driving that band out of the ground and up to the top right that's what people talk about when they talk about coiling and loading that's the sensation that many of you are missing that's why I use this so often so I had to give props to Mr. Pete Cowan I hope some of that imagery helps you if it did like I said go ahead and like and subscribe or jump on that email list and get some of my content that's not available on YouTube I'll see you all next week have a good one